You like to score goals but you struggle to break your opponents down then you blame everything, but today at least improve yourself by using these 8 tips to break down your opponents. So just relax, subscribe and make sure you watch up to the end of the video to understand. You have to start the habit of sending your players forward manually, this helps in two ways, one, you create more passing options in your attack, as this gives your opponent hard work to cover all the pass lanes. Take a look at this example, I trigger Benzema to run forward, it is called pass and move, where you hold L1 plus X on PlayStation, or LB plus A on Xbox, I made pass to Hazard, so opponent realized Benzema run and he tried to mark it, I knew it and decided to make another pass and move to Junior, Hazard ran forward, again I made another pass and move to Hazard and Junior ran forward, my opponent got confused on what to do, so he panicked and tackled, so I made a simple ball roll and shoot to score. Another advanced way to send your players forward, is by flicking the left analog to the player you want to run forward, then tap L1 on PlayStation, or LB on Xbox, the player will run forward, sometimes AI defenders will track his run, so this creates space in front for you to drive forward. Sending players forward is very crucial, you will see your players flying forward. But be careful, don't send center backs forward, as you will be punished if you lose the ball. Send players forward while you pass in triangle format, Passing in triangles is where you pass the ball from player 1, to player 2, then player 3, and that's what I mean by triangles. This adds unpredictability in your passing. You have to be a player who dictates the tempo of the game, you have to add up speed into your play style, when you move the ball quickly around the pitch, you make one-touch passes, while you send players forward and forming triangles, you will see how your opponent struggles to press your players. When the ball moves fast, you give less time for opponent to react, you might even notice that some players fail to press you because they can't switch their players quick enough. We talked about playing fast, it doesn't mean you have to be very direct in your play, like predictable pass and dribbles, good opponents will read your pass patterns and dribbles, so don't show your opponent that you want that pass, try making quick turns to open up the pass lane, and don't think about only one option, train your mind to always plan for two options, if opponent reads the first one, try the second but do not slow down your momentum, unpredictability plus speed, will break your opponent. You cannot be passing only, making good dribbles, when you realize space in front, you have to drive forward. But do not do it too often, when you realize opponent defender approaching, you slow down soon than later. As this helps to cut off some of opponent players who are recovering. You have to add driven pass into your play style, especially finding your striker in tight areas, it's crucial in adding up pace into your playstyle. We have a dedicated video about driven pass go and check. The number one mistake player makes is attacking oftenly through the middle, you have to mix up, driving the ball through the wing, when you beat the full back, it forces one the center backs to shift to the wing, leaving open space in the middle, so develop the habit of attacking from the wing then cut inside. The number one mindset you got to bear is, you have to take risk, nothing is gonna be perfect for you, you can't score perfect goals, you have to try those skill moves in your arsenal, you have to find your striker in tight areas, you may spot your striker then you see the defender on him, he cannot be unmarked remember, so take that risk pass to your striker, beat your defender, the more you try that, the more intelligence you will develop in that situation. 
We talk about perfectness, we know, no one is perfect, but the issue of the game scripts, fails and glitches, it doesn't not happen to you only, everyone faces this issue even pros, sometimes the game might be against you especially when you are leading your opponent, so just ignore and don't get frustrated. In brief details, send your players forward to attack in numbers, look for triangle passes all over the pitch, play quick football to confuse your opponent, be unpredictable, if you got space drive forward, use driven pass to break tight defenses, use wing play to stretch opponent's defense and finally have the right mindset. Before I leave, share your opinion, how do you think about moving your players use buttons instead of analog, tell me in the comment section, see you in the next one.